dialect of George Washington Bay. Can you see that? Some people I was trying to tell didn't understand what I was talking about, but there we are. Pro tip, cut out all these freaking car uh, care instruction tags out of all your clothes before you leave on tour because this thing has been scratching me for the past, I don't even know how many miles, but finally cut it out, um, but it ended up creating a small tear. Anyway, I don't care as long as this thing's not scratching me. Sweet, sweet relief. Ended up stopping at the Willapaw Wildlife refuge and um, saw this cool table which is some interesting artwork out here it kind of looks like a dragonfly the world is mud luscious and puddle wonderful E.E. E. Cummings Wish you could hear the sound because it's just the sound of thousands of beaks filtering through all the mud. There in the distance is the Long Beach Peninsula and uh, Oysterville. A lot of little uh, oceanside towns over on that side. I'm making my way over there. This bay is gigantic. Uh, I read back at the uh, Wildlife Preserve that it's over a thousand square miles, uh, which is bigger than the state of Rhode Island. Finally made it to the coast. Coming to you from the driftwood filled beach of Cape Disappointment here in southern Washington. Finally made it to the ocean. You can see it behind me. Feels really good. Uh, my legs are feeling pretty good today. And I got some friends I'm going to meet up with in Astoria. Got some really good salmon back at uh, one of the stops back there. And just living the dream. Living the dream right now. really really high winds up there 
but at least I made it across safe. Everything else stayed on the bike. Uh, but yeah, that's why you bring a backup tripod. So yeah, actually made it across. It's a hell of a lot of climbing on that thing and pretty narrow shoulder. But of all the bridges I've crossed, it was actually one of the safer ones. So yeah, now we're just pedaling into Astoria and uh, made it to Oregon. Yeah.